Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. And another heavyweight news mashup video today, starting with the former unified champion Andy Ruiz Jr., who's hinting his return is near after saying on social media, got the news from my manager on my next opponent. Guess who I'm fighting next below? And fans have waited in on that, as well as uh, another heavyweight boxer, Christopher Lovejoy, who's mentioned later in this video. He is asking Ruiz to get it on with him on Cinco de Mayo. Unlikely to be Lovejoy, but uh, it'll be interesting to see who Ruiz has gone with, uh, considering that there was talk for a while of Dillian White, but that fell over. Hopefully it's at least someone on a decent level like that, potentially a Luis Ortiz, maybe even an Oscar Rivas. Rivas has not signed a promotional deal yet, so we'll have to see. Joe Joyce is thankful that he's reunited with his first head trainer, Ishmael Salas. So posting to social media, throughout my career, I've been lucky to work with the best trainers boxing has to offer. Grateful for all the knowledge they have passed on to me on my journey. I'm preparing for a hashtag seek and destroy out in Las Vegas, and it's great to be reunited with Ishmael Salas for this fight camp. Hashtag Mexican Joe, hashtag the juggernaut. Meanwhile, Nathan Gorman, another Frank Warren stable heavyweight, says he would want to be on the Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois undercard. He was asked to get on the undercard surely, and he says, yes, ideally, that's what I want. And this is on his Twitter. Gorman has been out of the ring since a loss to Daniel Dubois in 2019. And just on Daniel Dubois, he signed a promotional extension with Frank Warren of five years. And Warren has stated, I'm delighted. We'll see us looking after his interests for most of the rest of this decade. I believe he will be our next world heavyweight champ. Alexander Usyk's promoter Alexander Krasjuk has sought to clarify news that Alexander Usyk is injured. World Boxing News had reported there was an elbow injury which was preventing a Derek Chisora and Usyk clash happening in March or even April, saying that it could be pushed back to May. So Krasjuk has told the publication that he doesn't want to take any risk with rehab for a prior issue and they have delayed the Chisora fight until May. Ajit Kabayal has announced that he's going to be returning to the ring on March 28th in Magdeburg. He says on his social media that he is ready for war. Still no opponent for him and no clarification if his visa issues have been cleared up. He was meant to be fighting in the United States earlier this year, but visa issues prevented it. He was meant to fight Victor Bisbal. Ultimately, Devin Vargas went on to fight Bisbal and beat him. Kabial recently signed a co-promotional deal with Top Rank to fight on ESPN in 2020. The Dillian White managed heavyweight Fabio Wardley will be taking on Simon Villilli for the English heavyweight title. So Wardley says on his social media, let's go, strap season. My next fight will be for the English heavyweight title on the 4th of April in Newcastle. And the promoter of that card, Eddie Hearn, says it's going to be a great domestic heavyweight battle. As I mentioned earlier, Christopher Lovejoy is in this bulletin. He has been sparring with Johnny Rice. Johnny Rice is going to Australia for a March the 7th fight against Dempsey McKean. Lovejoy saying on social media he's on a road tour. Catch me if you can. Hashtag boxing. And of Dempsey McKean, he has been sparring a lot of rounds with the amateur standout, Justice Hooney. And you see here on screen, Hooney says uh, some quality rounds this morning. And this is from a day or so ago. And just rounding out this heavyweight news mashup video, Anthony Joshua saying that he would like to fight Tyson Fury in the UK if they do fight. Talking to Pep Talk UK, he says, if Fury would like the fight in Las Vegas, we have to talk about that. But I think for me personally, it makes more sense having it in London or Manchester. And he's also told Pep Talk UK, Fury can't go in there and bang out Wilder, a top tier fighter, and Wilder ain't going to go in there and bang out Fury. Wilder can punch, but he don't punch hard enough to keep Fury down. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.